Hi, I am sitting on my living room floor because my parents went on a trip um, for a little while and I can be in my living room. So I just come in here and I sit on the floor. I dyed my hair yesterday. Today is New Year's Day. It's January 1st, 2021. Um, I'm gonna be focusing a lot on YouTube and Twitch this year. If you haven't, go follow me on Twitch. Um, my username is Heather Music with two C's. So it would mean so much if you did go give a follow. Um, I play music over there and we chat and just kind of have fun. I'm gonna be doing some art over there as well which I haven't really done in the past. Um, right now, I've decided I'm going to be filming my first week of January um, for YouTube. I'm drinking my coffee. Um, so January 1st is today. Um, I just got really stressed out because I had three doctors that left me voicemails um it's just kind of like life with no thyroid life with no parathyroids i am sick of it and i most of the time don't want to deal with it at all and it takes a lot of my energy out to deal with it and so i'm very stressed out um about health concerns and doctor's appointments and it's just annoying um i have an appointment through a telehealth thing um it's a phone call um with my primary care and she wanted me to do labs that i didn't do because um it's for cholesterol which i don't know why she wants to test my cholesterol anyway because i'm vegan and everything that gives you bad cholesterol is like eggs, dairy, meat, fish, and I don't eat any of that. So I feel like my cholesterol is fine. And so I'm gonna ask her if we even need to test it. And two, I'm gonna ask her if I absolutely have to fast for it because I'm a faint risk when I get my blood drawn. I know I'm like the worst candidate to not have a thyroid. Um, but fasting before a blood draw is basically just signing up to faint for me um because i'm more likely to faint if i don't eat the first thing i ask me when i go to get my blood drawn is did i eat did i drink water because when you're a faint risk they want to make sure that your blood sugar is not going to drop and you're not going to faint which i don't even know if that's why i faint but yeah um, so it's frustrating and I'm basically going to be honest and upfront with my primary care nurse practitioner and I'm just going to say, do we need to do this test because it's basically signing up to go in and faint and I'm dealing with enough already, like blood draws with my endo. So I really don't want to deal with this right now. Like, can we do this next year? I don't like confrontation and it's hard for me to stand up for myself because I don't think I deserve it. Um, and I often think that I should just suck it up, which is so sad, but true. Anyway, that's my primary care issue. I'm going to talk faster now because it's, it's like four minutes long of a clip. <sighs> Deep breaths. I have anxious. I've, I can't speak. <laughs> I have anxiety right now because I just was thinking about all the doctor shit that I constantly have to deal with. And I have health anxiety now, like, and I don't want to have anxiety attack or panic attack today so I'm trying to calm down I'm going to see my endo this week which I'm nervous about because they've expressed disappointment that I haven't been to my endo I'm supposed to see one at least once a year and I didn't see one last year so they're on my case about it and I thought that they would be a little bit more compassionate because of everything that's been going on this year you know obviously with the pandemic they even asked me at the beginning of lockdown do you want to cancel your appointment because i had an appointment in like april or something and i said yes because at that time it, you know it was very high risk everywhere around me it stresses me out and you think they would have a little bit more compassion about it um i've been struggling to get my medication out of them because i haven't seen 
my endocrinologist. So I'm like, you know what, whatever, just make me an appointment and send me the labs and I'll just get it done. Which obviously getting my blood drawn again makes me anxious because I have a really bad phobia of needles and getting my blood drawn and um, I pass out. So it's never fun, but I know that I have to do it for my health because I don't have a thyroid and it's very important to stay on top of my thyroid hormones. And the only way to test that is through a blood draw. So unfortunately for the rest of my life, I will be dealing with this and hopefully at some point my phobia is gone, <laughs> but it's not, it's still very present. And again, doctors don't care. They just want their blood and they want their tests done and they wanna make sure you're okay sometimes. And really they just want their money because that's their job and I, and I get that. I'm, I'm anxious about it. Anyway, so I got my blood drawn. There's a little tiny bruise. They had to do it for my hand. I also have horrible veins. I'm literally the worst candidate for having thyroid cancer, but you know, life doesn't care. I'm like sweating from my anxiety right now. This is probably gonna be a long video, so grab a snack, grab a coffee, whatever you want. Then I have my gyno in my uh, voicemail box just saying like your annual is up like you need to come see us which is like great like why is it all at the same time i don't know but i'm gonna try and push out that one till next month at least so that i don't have three doctor's appointments this month because again it just spikes my anxiety which then spikes my anxiety everywhere else as well Hey y'all, I just found an Eat With Me video. I am breaking out. I'm getting ready to stream. I have a few sparkle lights, but I wish I had more and I wish I had some for back here. Um, I have a tapestry that I want to hang from the ceiling and then I want to put fairy lights like trailing down it, but I haven't been able to hang it because I'm not tall enough. Um, and yeah, but anyway, I just put these up. I don't know if they're even gonna be seen, but they are little twinkle lights as well. Lit my candle. I am streaming in an hour. So I have time to just kind of do whatever. Um, so I'm just hanging out. Barry looks kind of sad in the background, I'll be honest. And it's because he doesn't sit up like on his own he always has to lean against something and he's um he's top heavy um <laughs> right now i'm mainly streaming singing and playing my acoustic guitar and my ukulele and talking to the people in the chat in the future, I'd love to do stream other stuff. I want to start streaming art stuff as well. So if you haven't, go over there and give me a follow. I'd really appreciate it. And if you have a chance, come say hi. I'm going to be streaming Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I hope to see you guys there. I know this seems weird. I can't breathe. I just finished my second stream that's been scheduled. I just started a stream schedule last Wednesday. It's Friday right now, January 1st. And I've been kind of on the path to becoming an affiliate with Twitch. So I go and I check my little achievements after my stream today. And I met all of the requirements. I just got a notification. I get to apply to be an affiliate with Twitch. So seriously, guys, if you haven't followed me on Twitch, please go do. I sing there live on Twitch and I take song requests 
and I'm gonna start doing other stuff. I just don't know what yet, and I'm freaking out because I just got affiliate on Twitch. I have been struggling with what I want to do in life. I don't get it. I don't know what I want to do. I don't fit in any category. I don't want to go into an office. I don't want to go back to school. I I don't know if this is it. <laughs> but it feels right. For it to be January 1st, 2021, and I got the affiliate notification. I'm clicking it right now. I'm setting it up. You guys. Ah! <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I, I just applied to become affiliate, I think. Hi. It's the morning after I got Twitch affiliate. I'm making my second cup of coffee. It's actually not morning anymore, it's the afternoon. Um, I'm struggling today mentally for other reasons. I'm still really happy that I got Twitch affiliate. Um, and my stream on Sunday is probably gonna consist of me trying to draw an emote because I got an emote slot. It's exciting. Um, people can subscribe and give bits now. So, and it's a lazy day. It's really dreary outside. I don't have any plans or anything to go get like out of the house today. So it's kind of just a lazy day. I'm probably just gonna plant myself on the couch and watch TV for quite a while um, and play some Animal Crossing. Um, if anything else happens, I'll check in with you, but I'm kind of having a, sad day so um and I don't it's it's stuff that I don't necessarily want to talk about on here so um yeah I I'm just going to have some lazy time alone time and uh yeah that's it for today hi um I am doing this weekly vlog, so I'm back to you again. Um, I don't really know what to say. I'm feeling a little tiny bit better today, but I'm also still kind of meh. Um, this is what happens, you know, I have depression and I just realized I have a stain on my jeans. I deal with situations differently from someone who doesn't have those disorders. I'm just kind of um, trying to fill my day because um, uh, I am not working right now and it's difficult to fill my days. And um, you know, when you're working and you have a day off, it's like exciting and it's nice to just do nothing but when every day is a day off, it's difficult to find stuff to do and to not get depressed or bored or feel isolated. Um, my parents are away this week while I enjoy the alone time. Sometimes that's hard too. And that makes me feel guilty and like it shouldn't be an issue because I'm always complaining that I have no alone time and no privacy and no quiet, but when I get it, I'm still not happy. Isolating or just being by myself for long periods of time does trigger depression for me. I got this new pill case that's got rainbow and there's a different um, little pod for each day. Yeah, so here's separating my pills. Hope you enjoy it. All right, so here's the pills. I'm gonna talk a little softly just because this is more of an ASMR thing. Obviously I have to open each of these um, separately. So I'm gonna open each of these. 
Um, but yeah, I, I have been doing this every week and it's working well for me. If you have medicine that you, it's really important that you need to take every day and you, you struggle with remembering or you just struggle with the motivation to take it, getting a fun or colorful pillowcase like this can help. Sorry, that was out of view, but just because it makes it easier. Now, I'm going to take what's left in there. Those are my vitamins that I didn't take yesterday. I am going to take them today, so I'm going to leave them to the side. Um, now, I can't show you all of my pills because they have my name and important information on them, but I can show you some of them. Okay, so, we start with Sunday, which is today. I don't have to take a morning pill on Sunday, but we'll go in order of how we do this during the day. This is one of the pills that I can't show you in the bottle. Um, I take one of these a day in the morning, right when I wake up, hopefully. And um, this is for my thyroid hormone. So I've mentioned in other videos, I did have thyroid cancer and I had a full um, thyroidectomy, a full thyroid removal. Um, so I do not have the thyroid gland anymore. And this little pill replicates the hormones that that thyroid gland um, produces for you on its own. So I depend on this pill. If I don't take this pill for three days, I could end up in a coma. Um, so it's very dangerous um, if I don't take these frequently like I'm supposed to. And that's all I take when I first wake up. Um, is So I close that first row. Um, and then we have a calcium supplement. Now, I, I know the lighting is not the best right now. It's really dreary outside. If that's better, then I hope it is. But uh, we have the like, calcium. It's 1,200 milligrams. It has... Um, 25 micrograms of vitamin D3, which is a thousand IUs. Um, I take this because I'm missing, or they're not working. We don't really know which one it is. Um, my parathyroids, which is, which are um, small glands. There's four of them, located in your neck, near your thyroid glands. And what they think happens is that they were touched or harmed during my surgery, and that causes them to no longer function. So I take this big pill of calcium because parathyroids um, help your body produce calcium. And without calcium, it can be very dangerous as well. I was in the ICU for uh, two to three days um, and I was hypoglycemic, which is very dangerous and can cause things like seizures and brain aneurysms. I uh, luckily didn't um, have anything um, very harmful. I, I did have some seizures and um, it was very low. I think the lowest was four and it's supposed to be from eight to twelve i think it was out of four when i first went into the hospital now because i don't have my parathyroids my body actually doesn't um do anything with the calcium or um the vitamin d this this is a pill that actually performs like a parathyroid it's prescribed and it makes the calcium uh get absorbed so it actually is making the calcium work Okay, so they, they look like little Tic Tacs. So sometimes I joke that I, I need my Tic Tacs. <laughs> um, I recently had trouble getting this medication because I haven't seen my doctor in a while. Um, and I'm a little nervous that they forgot to test my calcium because I didn't see it on my labs. But uh, I'm, I'm hoping that they did and I just, I don't know. But I don't think they did, so I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go back. now. As far as the other two things, I was taking a heartburn pill for a while because I was suffering with heartburn. Um, it's gotten a little bit better and my two weeks is up with taking that. I do have some more, um, probably just in case I need to continue with it. I have an appointment tomorrow with my primary and probably we'll talk about that. Um, I also don't know if this is related to any of my conditions or if this is just another condition, but I suffer with um, bladder infections. Um, it's just something I've always suffered with. I get them frequently. Um, chronic, it's it's called something. It's like chronic UTIs or something like that. So I actually purchased this. Um, it wasn't recommended to me or anything. I was just, I was actually, I think, watching a video at, at one point and someone had said that they, I'm going to skip Sunday because I have these out already. Someone had said that these work if you have chronic UTI syndrome or whatever it's called. And so I figured, well, let me just try 
and see if these work. So far, it actually, I think, has been helping. It's a probiotic built specifically for feminine bladder. Um, <coughs> and so if you have that problem, I recommend that. This is what it looks like so far. Um, and then the last thing I've been taking is this hair, skin, and nails. It's 500 micrograms of biotin, um, argan oil, coconut oil, and collagen. I don't know if these are vegan, so if you're vegan and concerned about that, I don't, I don't know if they are, but these, you have to take three of them. They taste nasty. They smell nasty. Oops, I guess I didn't need to put any in this one. Um, they taste nasty. They smell nasty. Um, I don't always take them, but my, I lose a lot of hair because of my thyroid being missing. Um, I'm going to leave that one out so I don't keep doing that, but, um, I lose a lot of hair, my hair is um, damaged, I do dye my hair, obviously, and so I try to take hair vitamins, my nails are super brittle, which has to do with my calcium issues, it's actually been better, I think this um, vitamin, as well as my calcium levels being good, have um, changed that for me, but if you're a girl, and you lose hair, and your hair's just not healthy, your skin's not healthy, your nails aren't healthy, this seems to work pretty well. Now, I am breaking out right now, but I think I'm about to get my periods. <laughs> so, yeah. But I'm taking out these meds because... Oh, actually, I don't need this in here either. So I'll take that out. But I'm, I'm taking out those meds, and I'll actually leave this out because today's Sunday, and I have to take the last um, vitamin. So I take the calcium pill and the pill that helps it work twice a day. So um, I'm going to be taking all of these right now. And, yeah, that's... Let me know if you uh, liked this sort of thing. It's kind of interesting. Um, maybe I'll do it again. So yeah, that's what my pill case looks like. All right, guys, it is five o'clock just about. And oh, I need somewhere to put my camera. <laughs> So I am going to toast some bread with some cheese on it and then pile on the chickpea. It tastes really good. So I'm on the couch, leftover makeup all over my face. I did crazy makeup tonight. I just felt like it. Um, I am just watching some TV. It's getting kind of late, so I'm thinking I'm going to bed. I look for therapists every month. And they either don't take my insurance or they are not taking new patients. It's like nearly impossible to find a new therapist and I don't want to go back to my old therapist I struggle so much with so many things and I just can't seem to find a happy medium it's frustrating and I you know, I, I wanted to film the first week of January, you know, the first seven days of January. And that's what I'm doing, but it, it's almost turning into a therapy session. Um, and I don't mean it to. And this is honestly just my life. And this is the things that go on in my mind when I'm not streaming, when I'm not you know, faking happy for a video. I have to take advantage of every day that I feel better because I don't know if the next day I won't be able to get out of bed. I don't know if the next day I'll want to give up. Like having uh, this new streaming schedule, it's really helped me on those days that I stream, but I can't stream every day and 
some days I just don't want to try. And I feel like I can't talk to anyone in my life about this because all I ever do is complain. But I'm gonna stop rambling now. I should probably go to bed soon, but my mind is racing. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you for listening. Hi, we're in my car. I've got my mask. This is one of my favorite masks. We're gonna be going to CVS because I want an energy drink and I wanna pick up some tea for like nighttime tea with chamomile in it or chamomile, whatever you say. I'm gonna use it as a hot compress on my eye too because I'm honestly sick of this. I have a few things to do today, so this is actually good and I'm feeling a little better today as well. I had an appointment um, with my doctor this afternoon and um, it went really well and the blood test that I've been worried about that I have to fast for, she said it's okay if I don't fast and I eat something small beforehand. Um, so that brings my anxiety down. I'm not gonna lie, my throat hurts a little bit today and I think it's because of all the singing I've been doing lately. All right, I'm back from CVS. This is one that I couldn't resist. It's a pack of different colored gems. Um, the tea that I got, I'm trying a new brand of tea. Puka tea? <laughs> Doesn't sound that appealing, but it looks pretty. This is the box. This I've been looking for. One singular cat laser. I'm hoping that Banjo plays with it. I'll try and get some video of me trying to play with him. Cheers. Um, I know I look a mess right now. I cried for quite a, quite a few hours, feeling very depressed and lonely. Um, it is 6 a.m. And I haven't slept yet <laughs> because I can't relax my mind enough to fall asleep and I didn't take melatonin tonight nor did I drink the sleepy tea that I bought and I guess I just felt the need to let the vlog know that I'm struggling tonight that's it I'm in a full-blown depressive episode It's the 5th of January, day 5 of vlogging for you guys. Um, I had a really bad day mentally. Starting to get better now. It's 11 p.m. So I always feel better at night. I'm very much a night owl. And for some reason, I get more energy at night, especially when I have gone through a depressive episode. Got a letter from a pen pal today, so that was exciting. Writing letters makes me happy. <sighs> I'm supposed to see my boyfriend tomorrow. I don't know how much I'll vlog tomorrow. And I have a doctor's appointment for the last day of this um, seven day vlog. Hi everyone. I'm sitting outside of my doctor appointment um, with my endocrinologist, which is a doctor that takes care of patients who have thyroid issues or have had their thyroid removed. Um, anything that has to do with thyroid cancer, osteoporosis too, I believe, and a few other things. Um, but 
today's appointment I'm a little anxious about. He, I came in, he fixed my meds, and then I felt so much better, so I'm hoping that everything is still good. Yesterday I hung out with my boyfriend for the first time in quite a while, and it was so nice. It has been really hard to be away from him for so long, so I'm glad that we saw each other again. Hi. Um, yeah, you can see the anxiety on my face. Overall, it actually went really well. Everything still looks good. No sign of thyroid cancer. My numbers look good and my calcium is the best it's ever been. Yeah, but I really like this doctor. He's super good and a very knowledgeable and even knowledgeable about like the medical field being more focused on money and business. He spills tea. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was kind of an abrupt ending. Check me out on Twitch if you haven't yet. The link's down below. And stay strong, my friends.